Welcome to the Elijah 7000 update. It's going to be a great day. Thank you for being uh, uh, with me today. I'm reading, remember, Elijah becomes a prototype of your life, the pattern of your life, the pattern of the future. Hear this. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, I, I, see, I like that. Elijah the Lord who is strong, Tishbite, you make a captive of Gilead. He is speaking to Ahab. He's not speaking to Jezebel. He's not speaking to the princes. He's not speaking to the little rulers. He went straight for the king. What I'm trying to tell you is, the, the example is, when the strength of the Lord is upon you, and he empowers you, he gives you the ability to go after the ruling principality. See, Ahab was king. Ahab was ruler. There are ruling principalities over the community and over the region and over the city. Maybe even over a family, over a situation. What I'm saying to you is that when Elijah's spirit, that spirit of Elijah, that anointing from God, comes upon your life, he gives you the power and the ability and the strength to go after the ruling principality. I don't speak to subservient devils. I don't speak to little principalities. I speak to ruling spirits and I command them because the Lord has made us strong and we are able to make captives. So, hey, listen, speak to ruling principalities. The Lord has made you strong. Make a captive today. Make a captive that's trying to hold your family, hold your job, hold your finance, hold everything around you. Make a captive today in the name of the Lord.